Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everybody, my name is Sitra Ashraf and this is my very first vlog video. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about the 10 must have things for your newborn. I have a beautiful, beautiful daughter, 16 months old. And in the beginning, it was a lot of information and I felt extremely overwhelmed with all of it. So to help new parents ease into the transition, I compiled a list of 10 things that I have right here that I'll be referring to so I don't forget. Alrighty, let's dive in. Number one, swaddle blanket. Um, I used a regular blanket in the beginning and it was just either too loose or too tight and it didn't keep my baby snug. So I went out, I went out and got a swaddle blanket and it's just, I used the Velcro kind where you just tush, tush, baby's all snuggled and tush, tush, baby's out. So that was really helpful. Number two, diaper genie. You are going to be changing a lot of diapers in the beginning. And it's just easy if you have a diaper genie and you can just, you know, change and then just throw the diaper in the diaper genie instead of going outside and, you know, taking it out every single time. The pros are that the diaper genie doesn't stink and it's convenient right next to you. And um, get the ones that you can use your own bags with, basically. You don't want to get the one that you have to individually buy the bags because that will get really costly in the end. Okay, number three white noise device um in the beginning we just used my iphone and then later on my husband figured out how to do it on google home so you don't really need to go out and get your own uh, white noise machine you can use basically anything alexa google home your phone ipad whatever and it really helps because the baby is having a party in your room it's like really loud in there with your heartbeat your rumbling constantly moving so when the baby is born the baby kind of wants that similar environment to go to sleep in and the white noise really calms the baby down number four nursing pillow i had about three nursing pillows one at my in-laws one in the car one at the house and it's just so convenient i think i had the my best friend kind so you just wrap it around and my hands would be free to do whatever i wanted to do read a book listen to something else be on my phone you know anything else and it's just easier because the baby's just right there number five so speaking of nursing number five is breast pump you're gonna want a breast pump in the beginning especially because you know if your baby's not latched on properly you're you want that consistent um milk flow going so i got the medela hospital grade just rented that one out it was really easy because sometimes you just want to take a break as well and you can give the milk and the baby to your husband and just you know catch on some snoot so the breast pump is very helpful because the baby can be like oh mom i really want to eat but i just don't know how to suck and even though they're born with the suck like reflex they might not latch on properly and for a million reasons why they wouldn't so it's just helpful to like you know keep that handy and number six a base net um either you could have a base net or you could have a crib so our room really wasn't that big enough for a crib so we opted out for a base net in the room and it's just really convenient because the baby was right there and i would wake up in the middle of the night pick up samara feed her put her back instead of you know walking down the hall into her into another room and like you know picking her up from the crib or you could have a crib in your room again if your room's big enough but the base still is really helpful uh number seven a diaper changing pad or a changing station a diaper changing pad the one i had had like all four corners and it just keeps baby in one place and the station is just really helpful because you'll have your diapers you'll have your um wipes and everything in one place and it's just again convenience I'm all about convenience, guys. And number eight. Yeah, eight. <laughs> uh, tracking app. So it's really important in the beginning to keep track of how many diapers your baby goes through, how many times the baby eats, if the baby's producing enough solids, um, enough solid and wet diapers. And also, you want to know how often the baby goes to sleep and how long the baby goes to sleep for. So the app that I used was... In the beginning, I just kind of used random apps and later on I switched to Huckleberry, which was which it's a whole another video that I will talk about later. But yeah, a tracking app is really helpful. Number nine, a baby bathtub. I know a lot of people just, you know, wash the baby in the kitchen sick and I just, you know, 
can do that. So we went for a baby bathtub and got the Fisher Price one. It was really convenient. It just, you know, had the newborn stage and then the later on the toddler stage. So you can practically get any. And last but not the least, number 10, positive attitude, because you are going to need it. It's really hard and you're gonna be sleep deprived, you're gonna be going through some baby blues or postpartum depression, and the baby will want to like, you know, nurse all the time, and the baby's gonna poop like 20 million times, and you're just like thinking, when is it ever going to end? It will come to an end, and life will get easier, but you have to remain positive, have a positive attitude with everything, and you will get through this, guys, and yeah. That's my list. I hope it was helpful. And if you liked my video, please like, subscribe, and give it a thumbs up. And I will be coming up with more videos later on. Until then, assalamu alaikum, rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace.